How's it going, YouTubers? Shark Shark here with another video just for you. This is the second video in my new series of 1001 movies to see before you die. So I just got done watching two films on my list. The first one being Amadeus from 1984, starring F. Murray Abraham, Tom Holsch, and Jeffrey Jones. This movie is a film basically about Mozart and uh, kind of what he went through in his short time period that he was making music. This is shown through the eyes of a gentleman that was also a composer at the time and basically his story and how he feels he killed Mozart. Eve Marie Abraham plays the one of the, the other lead composer and Tom Holsch plays Mozart. Now the film was so well done, so well edited, so well directed, acted, uh, filmed, uh, set design, costume, makeup. I can't believe this movie has been around this long and I have not watched it. It was so well done. Definitely a movie that deserves to be on this list of 1001 movies to see before you die. This movie was actually nominated for 53 different awards. And it took home 40 of them. So think about that. It's only 13 they did not take home. That's pretty impressive. Eight were Academy Awards, including that includes Best Picture, Best Leading Actor, Best Costume Design, and so forth. Uh, they actually were nominated for 11 Academies and took home eight. That's pretty impressive. It also took home four Golden Globes out of the six that it was nominated for. And it also took home two BAFTAs and one Director's Guild Award. So that alone should show you that the critics most definitely liked it. But, you know, we don't always agree with the critics when they, you know, either love a movie or hate a movie. So I was really impressed because I definitely 100% agree with the critics on this one versus many of the other videos I've seen that the critics say were the best movies in the world. All the acting, the editing was, like, so superb. I mean, Tom Holsch playing Mozart did an amazing job in the laughter that he did. Uh, because this movie is considered actually a comedy biographical kind of drama. And so there was a comedy element to it which really made the film enjoyable to watch. At 180 minutes long, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, that's so long. But believe me, this director's cut, which is the 180 minute cut that was actually re-released in 2002... Uh, by director Milo's foreman that uh, th was his original uh, imagination or image or uh, basically his presentation of the film because uh, he actually when he released it in 84 had cut it down to 161 minutes it was only a PG cut too at the time so this new director's version is R um, so there was a lot added that was taken out that made the story so much more understandable and so much better. Uh, so definitely a thousand one movie.